हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द डिप्यूटी आर्किटेक्ट एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन यू पी एस सी सो टूडे लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द रैड बन कॉन्सेप्ट सो बेसिकली व्हाट इज द रैड बन कॉन्सेप्ट रैड बन कॉन्सेप्ट इज अल्सो है प्लानिंग कॉन्सेप्ट Radban planning concept. So yeah, so when comes to neighborhood uh, concept, Radban planning concept is also one of the thing. Okay. All the you should see all these things. So initially, Abinger uh, Howard he devised the garden city planning. After the garden city planning, slowly neighborhood neighborhood concept has come. Okay, neighborhood concept uh, in the neighborhood concept, mainly the urban planning concept was proposed by Clarence Team. Clarence Time. Kama Henry Wright. so these are the two planners and architects who has proposed the radban concept and it has become the revolutionary worldwide okay so here we will understand concept is based on the idea of separating automobile and pedestrian traffic to create more efficient and safe living environment see what happened is in us also this happened in during the Time of 1920s after 1920s, okay. So at the time, automobiles are in US. Automobiles are very high. That means uh, number of cars, vehicles, movement was very high, and the number of accidents also was very high. So this Clarence Teen and, and Henry Wright they have come up with the concept of separation of uh, pedestrian movement and vehicular movement. So this is one of the important concept of neighborhood, okay. concept is based on the based on the idea of separating automobile and pedestrian traffic separating vehicles and pedestrian traffic Okay. Next, urban plan consists of two types of streets. We actually in the plan itself we have uh, two types of streets. See, before diving deep into that, uh, what I will do is I will show you the total plan of urban how it will be. Okay. So basically, urban is also nothing but like a, our colonies, townships will be there, na. It will be similar to the townships. Okay, so if you see the plan of uh, Radban, mainly what they did is they have taken the exteriors. Suppose uh, this is the plan. See here what happening? They altered. Uh, these are the main roads. Okay, main collector roads sort of thing. All these are roads. Okay.
so in this one what does it is um, whatever the area between the roads we got it in this one they have divided into blocks okay so we, we will come to this point what does it is they have they have divided like this So each for this particular each unit. This particular each unit. Suppose you, you are seeing different uh, units. This one uh, each one of it is called super block. Okay. Super block. So, see if you see the different thing, what that it is in particular, these guys, the main concept is here only. Simply, what that it is, the main collector roads are outside, and uh, from the collector roads, they are given the access to the super blocks. So, each one is a super block, and super block contains uh, each super block contains different uh, units. Okay, in, the, in this, each one, one super block contains about uh, of 20 units sort of thing 20 housing units okay all these are the ground floor units only they are uh, if you see compare it like now like, uh, like this uh, they are like villas villas uh, that present will be seen so what the, what it is uh, all these uh, super blocks are connected on front side with the vehicle see as about this is uh, this is one super block number one super block number one super block number two Super block number three. So what it is from this main collector road, you will get the access. He has given the access to this super block. Okay, right for vehicular. So suppose my car comes, my car will come to this direct road and uh, it will go into this uh, super block. So back side, whatever is there, no back side. This everything is free, free from the traffic. Suppose this uh, super block guys are there. So what they can do is simply suppose if there is a school here my school so they can go by pedestrian all these are back side super blocks which is connected with a pedestrian movement okay so all these are, it is a pedestrian movement so all this, this is a pedestrian pathway so in super block guys they need not go to the main roads. Suppose children are there, if he want to go to school, simply he, he can go to, he can come to the back side of the super block uh, and uh, he can go to the school without interfering with the vehicle traffic. He will come to the back side of this unit and uh, he will uh, connect with the pathway and in the pathways only he will go to the school. These pathways and the, all these are back side, it is covered with greenery. All these are gardens. Okay. So in this concept, what they did is they have separated the based on the idea of suppose here we have been based on the idea of separation vehicles and pedestrian traffic. Okay. So like this plan, suppose here we have seen the number of super blocks consider three, number of four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 12, 13. So, in this plan, there are 13 super blocks. Likewise, there are many super blocks being connected. So, here the plan is expanding like this, and then some other super blocks are there. Likewise, okay, they have uh, developed the Radburn plan concept. Now, what I'll do is I will explain you the unit plan also in detail. Suppose we will see the this one I am telling you. Suppose in this plan there are 13 super blocks. Each super block, one super block plan we will see in detail so that you will get to know and you will get to understand in a detailed manner how your super block will be. Okay.
see it will be something like this Suppose this is my main node. This is my you can call this as collector node. Okay, this is my collector node. When my vehicles vehicles will play on this. Okay, all my cars and all those will be going on this. So what I will do is uh, in this super block. So here I am revising one more time term also. This is called see. This is called curly set. Now what is curly set? Curly set means see the position car is here. What are the car vehicles? Coming to my super block, so th this is super block plan. Super block, super block plan. What are the cars coming to my super block? They will just come and uh, they will go back. They they won't see. Normally, the main problem with the grid iron pattern is all the roads are thoroughfares. That means uh, if a car is entering here, it will go like this. And it will get connected to one more uh, road here. So it's interconnected. Everything is interconnected, and uh, so vehicles will be moving in all the streets. And pedestrian also has to move in the same streets, and uh, there is the possibility of accidents. That's why many accidents are happening. So to avoid that, what these people did is they have given a concept called uh, Kaldi Sack. That means it's like dead end, dead end sort of thing. But you you can take a loop. You can go today. You just turn your car and come back. Okay, this so is so it is not a thoroughfare. So this is the concept of uh, super block. So in this one, what we can do? Our so my units are there. Housing units are there. Housing units. They will be looked like this. They will be kept like this. All these housing, suppose housing units are there. So what they did is uh, simply directly from the character street only. All these access will. Uh, so when the car comes directly here, it will go. This is my. Unit housing unit. Here it will go. Here it will go. Here it will go. It will go. Here it will go. It means only from the Kaldi Sack only, Kaldi Sack road, whatever is there, will have access. And here is the important point. Here what it is on the periphery of the super block. Each super block, he has run a pedestrian path. He has run a Pedestrian path. So this is the pedestrian path. Okay. So this path will be connected to the parks and all the. Suppose if my park is here. Suppose it is and some school is there here. So all these uh, amenities, some commercial complex is there. Complex. All these are connected to this pedestrian path. See, these are what simply what these um, guys has to do is they have to come to back side of the dwelling, and uh, all the back side of the dwellings are connected to this path, walkways, pedestrian pathways, or pedestrian walkways. Okay. So here, what happening is vehicular movement is different. Just vehicles will come into my credit stack and go. Pedestrians will go to the walkways and they will reach their parks or whatever the school amenities, their complex amenities, safely without interference with the vehicular traffic. And also, suppose if there is a main road, by chance if there is a main road here, 
what they did is they have planned some underpasses underpasses they have overpasses so there won't be any inter interference of the vehicles and the pedestrians okay so coming to the next point so now here we have discussed about the super block what is super block we have discussed what is trellis jack we discussed how they have separated the vehicle and pedestrian movement we discussed okay so basically these are called green ways the term is they have used the green ways the pathways they have called it as green ways they these are pedestrian only paths that connect the homes to the park and other amenities pedestrian on green ways are pedestrian only paths next if we go to the next point so this encourages the residents to walk and bike instead of driving and it also creates a more child friendly environment so yeah, we have seen and this two walkways mainly it's a child friendly you know, parents need not fear about their safety of the children okay the central green space is a major feature of the most urban communities this space provides a place for residents to relax so as we previously discussed all the super blocks back side of the super blocks are connected with the green ways so all this merges at the central green space okay urban concept has been used in the design of many communities around the world Okay, mainly see suppose if you get the question what are the features of a red bun concept features we will discuss it features of red bun city first point super block Second point, specialized highway system. Third point, separation of vehicle, separation of vehicle, separation of vehicle. and pedestrian traffic park as backbone of the neighborhood park as the backbone of neighborhood next uh, last one is turn around houses see all this super block i have already discussed specialized highway system and that's why the main highway system they will run only on periphery and instead super blocks are saved from the pedestrian vehicle traffic and no interference of vehicle and pedestrian traffic park will be there as i told park will be there in the center and park will be connected by the walkways from the units which are located on the back side see turned around what are turned around is this in this what i want is suppose the cul-de-sac is coming like this from that main character street cul-de-sac is coming so in this one what happens suppose here they have planned a unit okay so from the cul-de-sac road again access to the individual house is coming in this one what that is 
they kept the garage initially g suppose garage is there and they have kept the service areas on the front side this side normally if you see normal conventional units living room bedroom and all those will be on the front side but here what they did is they kept the garage first and service areas and kitchen etc they have kept on the front side and back side what they did is they have opened up the living room living room bedroom they have kept on the back side so here what's happening is you are see from back side simply you will have a garden you will have a garden on back side and from the garden uh, backyard your walkways will start to go to suppose uh, sometimes here only the main park is there so the, all the living room and bedroom will get the nice view both, both the park and backyard so they will get more recreation their lives will, will be peaceful that is the main idea of clarence stein and henry wright in their ad bank okay got it guys any confusion if any confusion is there please comment in the comment box we can discuss the issues we can sort out the issues 